ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Dia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Unang tanong, are they up for the challenge? Samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Ulap. Ulap is a civil engineering student from UP Diliman. She likes collecting CDs, rollerblading, and riding the MRT. Sunod naman, we have Glenn. Glenn is a fourth-year student in UP Diliman, taking secondary education, major in mathematics. He's interested in traveling, sports, cultural exchange, and online shopping. Delicado. <laughs> Sunod naman, si Ran. Ran is a first-year BS Geology student from UP Diliman. He was born and raised in Dipolog City, Zamboanga del Norte. He enjoys playing video games, drawing, watching movies, and answering the daily New York Times games. And finally, we have Jap. Jap is a student of UP Diliman who studies BS Mathematics. He is the current Vice President for Finance of UP's oldest academic organization, UP Math Club. He likes playing volleyball and mobile games. Hirap naman yung pinaka-oldest. I was about to say, at miyembro kami ni Ramon Lorenzo <laughs> ng UP Math Club. Dinagdagan mo naman na oldest, diba? But in any case, our four contestants will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Unang-una, Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics in UP Diliman. We also have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History, also at UP Diliman. And last but not least, UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers are 10 points each, so get ready to buzz in and collect those points. So, what are we waiting for? Let's, Let's begin. begin! This is round one. Question number one. What large mammal is the primary source of ivory? Ula. Elephant. Elephant is correct. K check. Question number two. What is the one word title of a Taylor Swift Bon Iver song that means a prolonged, usually enforced absence from one's home or country? Run. Exile. Exile is correct. K check. Question number three. What city in England is the setting of Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street, Notting Hill, and Sharon Conetta's caregiver? London. London is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. The Bagobo is a group of people who predominantly live in what region in Mindanao? Correct answer is Davao or Region 11. Question number five. Which American British pop punk band has a name that is the color between red and yellow? Jam. Orange. Orange is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In what 1999 film did Phil Collins sing, You'll Be in My Heart? Tarzan. Tarzan is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. In what populous U.S. city can you find the island of Manhattan? Ula. Again. New York City. New York City is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. What term that meant a commentary between two choric songs in a Greek tragedy now refers to a part of a TV series? Correct answer is episode. Question number nine. In what country can you find Gravenstein Castle, Antwerp Central, and the Grand Place of Brussels? 
Netherlands. Come again? Netherlands. Netherlands is wrong. Anyone can steal. Then, Amsterdam. Amsterdam is wrong. Run or jab? Jab. Germany. Germany is wrong. Run. The correct answer is Belgium. Question number 10. In mental math, what number is exactly between 36 and 56? Jack. 46. 46 is correct. Key check. Question number 11. In what 1995 Pixar animated movie did Mr. Potato Head appear with Ham Jack? Toy Story. Let me proceed. With Ham, Slinky Dog, Rex, and Woody, you said Toy Story. That's correct. Okay, check. And final question for this round. Number 12. In food, Pasta Alfredo is made from butter and what type of hard Italian cheese from the town of Parma? Ula. Parmesan. Parmesan is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules. And after that round, we have Ulap in the lead with 40 points, followed by Jap with 30, Ran with 20, and Glenn with a little catching up to do. And now, nandito na po tayo sa paboritong parte natin ng ating K-Check. At ito ang... K-Chika! Diba? Para naman makilala natin ng just a little bit more ang ating mga contestants. So, Ulap, una sa lahat, Ano ang history ng maganda mong pangalan? Bakit nga ba ulap? And second, napansin ko na yung mga hobbies mo medyo from bygone eras. CDs and rollerblading. Bumabalik na ba tong mga to sa uso? Meron pa bang nagbebenta ng CD player? <laughs> ano po, yung pangalan ko po kasi yung parents ko, nature lover. Tapos parang nasa bundok sila. Tapos sabi na parang magandang pangalan yung Tapos yung CD collecting, yung rollerblading, dati ko pa kasi since childhood, yung ano, yung hobby na yun, hanggang ngayon tinutuloy ko pa po. Yung CD collecting, yung mga lola ko kasi meron mga CD na madala. Lola! lola. lola. <laughs> Ang lola mo may CD. Grabe. <laughs> <laughs> Pero even nga yung mga vinyls ngayon bumabalik, di ba? Oo nga, and mga it's plaka. really, ma really expensive. expensive. It's, it's an expensive, expensive hobby, ah. Yes. Pero mahirap na rin mamili ngayon ng CD, no? Because... Yung CD, meron lang po sa mga recto, gano'n. Bumabalik <laughs> na. Actually, even cassette, eh. Binabalik ng Bumabalik iba, Bumabalik eh. ang cassette. Mm -hmm. So, kailangan ulit natin mangalikta ng pencil. <laughs> para mag-rewind. <laughs> mag Thank Hi, you, Hi, ano po yung mga kabataan? <laughs> what are they talking about? Yes. In any case, Glenn, hindi ba naman magastos ang hobby na online shopping? I mean, for us, I think, magastos, di ba? Lately po, kasi mayroon yung mga discounts, mga vouchers, so tinitake advantage lang po yung mga vouchers. And what has been your best purchase so far? Siguro po, bike. Bike? <laughs> yeah. Major, major ang purchase. How much, if you don't mind? 17... 17K. We're na kuha kasi ng mga 15. Ah, okay. Okay na rin. Interesting. Medyo delikado ang hobby na yan. But in any case, maraming salamat sa ating mga contestants. But we'll talk to Ran and Jap in a little bit. Paghandaan muna natin ang round 2 dahil ito ay susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Ulap is leading with 40 points, followed by Jap with 30 points, Ran with 20 points, and si Glenn naman ay pwede pang humabol sa susunod nating mga rounds. And as promised, we want to get to know more about our contestants here on... Kay Chica! <laughs> Audience participation, I love it. 100%. So anyway, Ran, tell us more about the games na... Sinasagutan mo sa New York Times. Ako kasi yung crossword puzzle na So, online ba ito? Yes po. Like, yung favorite ko po is yung mini crosswords, tapos yung connections at strands. Yung alin? Connections po. Ano yun? Like, parang like, may like, words, tapos you make, ano, connections, like, groups sa kanila. Like, wala. Mm, so, kailangan ba ng subscription para ma-access? Ay, hindi po? naman. Like, it's free naman free? siya. Yeah. Maybe I'll try that. Or share the link to us. 
Huwag <laughs> <laughs> ka aalis mamaya. Okay. <laughs> Tanaman si Jap, ano naman yung biggest challenge mo bilang VP for Finance ng UP Math Club? Sabi niya, ano pa? Pera? <laughs> uh, Siyempre po yung pag-account ng every uh, financial transaction ng organization since uh, I'm dealing with a large amount of money and hindi rin sa akin yung pera. So, ayun. Uh, So, Resulta ba yan ng solicitation? Ano, uh, uh, yung mga IGPs. org events po namin ng IGPs. Yeah. Mm. Yung mga income generating projects nila. So, Buti importante ang transparency yes. and accountability. Dati problema namin kung paano mag-raise ng funds. Dati uso rin yung mabenta ng mga... Cake. Cake. Raffle oh, ticket. Oh, mga, yes. mga cringles. Sabi nila, nako, bariya lang ang nakukuha dyan. So. <laughs> Level Mas up na yung mga sudyante ngayon. Maraming salamat sa ating contestants. And now, it's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin. begin! This is round two, question number one. What climate pattern marked by more rain and storms follows the hot El Nino in June 2024? Uh, Jap. La Nina. La Nina is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. Lord Voldemort is the villain in which book series or film franchise? Harry Ula. Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. Which female singer's last two number one singles were both collaborations? Shallow with Bradley Cooper and Rain On Me with Ariana Grande, Jap. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. By what short name is a self-contained underwater breathing apparatus more popularly known? Ula. Scuba. Scuba is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. In a food chain, what do you call an organism that makes its own food? Like a plant. Ulap. Producer. Producer or autotroph is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. What medical term refers to the morbid fear of confined spaces? Glenn. Claustrophobia. Claustrophobia is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. What do you call a short story that teaches a moral lesson? Ulap. Fable. Fable is a short story often using animals as characters like the hare and the tortoise. Fable is the correct answer. k -check. Question number eight. Which German political theorist published the first volume of Das Kapital in 1867? Karl Check. Marx. Karl Marx is the correct answer. k -check. Huwag masyadong panggigilan, ang buzzer namin, very sensitive and expensive. <laughs> Joke lang. Question number nine. Which actress starred as a bald E.V. Hammond in V for Vendetta, Padme Amidala in The Phantom Menace, and Mighty Thor in Thor, Love and Thunder? Natalie Portman is the correct answer for that question. Question number 10. In geometry this time, how many degrees are there in a semicircle? Jack. 180 degrees. 180 degrees, sabi ng ating math major. K check. Question number 11. In science, what do you call the invisible waves that are part of the electromagnetic spectrum? Jap. They are part of the electromagnetic spectrum that can be felt as heat and which occur at frequencies just below those of red visible light. Ula. Microwave. The answer is incorrect. Ran. Ultraviolet. The answer is also incorrect. Si Glenn, umiiling. Ayaw niya mag-guess. The correct answer is infrared. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. Which sea located between Jordan and Israel? Jeff? Red Sea. Red Sea is incorrect. 
It is located between Jordan and Israel and is the lowest inland elevation on Earth at 430 meters below sea level. Glenn. Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is the correct answer. K-check. And that's it for round two. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabi, for that round. Scores recap tayo. Ulap is leading with 110 points, followed by Jap with 90 points, Glenn with 40 points, and Ran with 10 points. Oh, pero tandaan nyo, contestants, hindi pa tapos ang laban dahil padating na ang ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. Points recap tayo. Ulap is leading with 110 points, followed by Jap with 90 points, Glenn with 40 points, and Rand with 10 points. Pero, meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So, dito sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. So, contestants, for this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. So, let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa round na to, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. So, let's, let's begin! begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. Which of the following is the smallest among the following planets? A. Mars B. Venus C. Earth D. Saturn Glenn Venus Mali Ulap Mars Let me continue E. Neptune According to size, from biggest to smallest, Saturn, Neptune, Earth, Venus, Mars. So, Jupiter is the biggest planet, and my favorite, Pluto, used to be the smallest. Correct answer is A, Mars. K, check. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Lu. Okay, salamat. History and cinema tayo. According to the Internet Movie Database, or IMDb, the highest rated Filipino film with a score of 8.1 is A, Anak, by Vilma Santos or featuring Vilma Santos and Claudine Barreto, B, Jose Rizal, starring Cesar Montano, C, Himala, starring Nora Honor, D, One More Chance, starring John Lloyd Cruz and Bay Alonso, or E, General Luna, starring John Arcelia. hindi One. na umabot unfortunately ano sana ang sagot mo? D sana ano? D although curious lang tayo pero hindi ka umabot dun sa budget uh, Prof. Lu? This 1982 Filipino film directed by Ishmael Bernal and produced by the Experimental Cinema of the Philippines Himala starting, starring Nor Honor is the story of Elsa a burial ass whose supposed vision of the Virgin Mary changed her life. The correct answer is C. Himala. Buti na lang hindi umabot siya. Thank you. Prof. Sophie. Thank you. What form of musical theater introduced by the Spaniards in the late 19th century? Glenn. First way, Lord. Um, Let me continue. Oh, yeah, sorry. Introduced by the Spaniards in the late 19th century, eventually incorporated themes of freedom from Spanish and American colonial rule. A. Moro Moro B. Sarsuela C. Comedia D. Sinaculo E. Panunuluyan You are correct. The answer is B. Sarsuela Okay, check! Thank you. Next round, uh, next set of questions, uh, Prof. Marian. Science ule, an inflated balloon loses its gas over time or if you puncture the balloon with a pin, it would deflate in seconds. This process is referred to as A. Diffusion Jap. A. Diffusion Male. Glenn Deflation Male. Let me finish the question. A. Diffusion, B. 
exocytosis, C. effusion, D. vaporization, or E. condensation. C. effusion. So this is the movement of gas molecules from one container to another through a tiny hole. The correct answer is C. Effusion. Okay, check. Next question, Prof. Lu. Okay, history and religion. What is the journey of Muhammad and his followers to Medina called? Letter A, Hijra. Letter B, Umrah. Letter C, Fiqh. Letter D, Wudu. Letter E, Zakat. Also spelled Hajira, it is the Prophet Muhammad's migration in 622 CE from Mecca to Medina to escape persecution. The correct answer is A. Hijra. Thank you. Prof. Sophie. What is the traditional Indonesian technique of applying designs to woven cloth by means of wax resist dyeing? A. Ikat. B. Batik C. Batik um, You are correct uh, um, But let me continue um, C. Chanting Malong Java Now the, can, the answer is Batik And chanting is actually the tool used to apply the melted wax Okay, okay check Thank you Prof. Sophie and that ends the first half Let's yes. do a scores recap and medyo nag-iba na ang ating mga standings although Ulap is still in first place with 140 points followed by Jap with 75 closely followed by Glenn with 70 and Ran with 40 points mm -hmm. but we still have 180 points left in the next half yes so let's begin Prof Marian Madali ulit okay if five terms of a sequence are 3 5 8, 13, 21. What is the next term? A, 23. B, 24. C, 25. D, 34. Or E, 35. Nalito lang. So the terms 3, 5, 8, 13, 21 are terms of the Fibonacci sequence. Kaya lang hindi unahan ang kinuha ko dahil sadista ako. So the terms are 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. The sum of 13 and 21 is 34. The correct answer is D, 34. Thank you. Prof. Lu. Okay, let's go to Asian history. Which Chinese emperor is known for being the creator of the first unified Chinese empire? Letter A, Wu Di. Letter B, Gao Zhu. Letter C, Kublai Khan. Letter D, Taizong. Or letter E, Qin Shi Huang. Jam. Letter E, Qin Shi Huang. Also called Shi Wang Di, he was the emperor of the Qin Dynasty during the 2nd century BCE and the creator of the first unified Chinese empire. The correct answer is E, Qin Shi Wang, K check. Next question, Prof. Sophie. Okay, so this is really hard. Which is the only structure in the Philippines that is not a museum where you can find the works of five national artists? Leandro Loxin, Vicente Manansala, Ang Kyukok, Arturo Luz, and Napoleon Abueva. A. Malacanang Palace. B. Manila City Hall. C. Church of the Holy Sacrifice. Jap. A. Malacanang Palace. Malipo. Glenn. Church of the Holy Sacrifice. Um, let me continue. D. Coconut Palace. E, San Agustin Church. Um, Church of the Holy Sacrifice is correct. No, you just go there. Everything's, you know, great. <laughs> A, check. And that's in UP. Yes. Thank you. So now we're off to the last set of questions. 
Oh, and Ulap leads with 140 points, followed by Glenn with 100, Jap with 90, Ran with 40 points. Okay, here we go. Prof. Marian. Okay, last question for me. What is the primary material which makes up the Earth's inner core? Jap. Nickel. Male. Glenn. Iron. Male. Okay, I'll continue. A, iron and nickel. B, granite. C, silicate. D, basalt. Or E, magnesium. Ran. A, iron and nickel. Okay, tama na sana yung iron at saka nickel. <laughs> Put them together. So, both inner core and outer core are made up of iron. Prim primarily of iron and nickel. With temperature between 4,000 and 5,000 degrees Celsius. O, di ba? Extreme heat yon. So, the correct answer is A, iron and nickel. K-check! Tapos, nagko-complain tayo na naiinitan tayo ngayon. Ito, thousand-thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Prof. Liu. Okay, para sa mga mahilig magbakasyon, Philippine culture tayo. The following Philippine festivals are held every January. Ran. Sinulog. Let me continue. Mali po. Let me continue. Kasi ang buong tanong ay, the following Philippine festivals are held every January except <laughs> Letter A, Ati-Atihan. Letter B, Feast of the Black Nazarene. Letter C, Moriones Festival. Letter D, Dinagyang. Letter E, Sinulog. Glenn, Feast of the Black Nazarene. Mali po. Chap. Letter D, Dinagyang. Mali rin, sorry. The Mariones Festival is a Lenten and religious festival held annually on Holy Week on the island of Marinduque. The Moriones are men and women in costumes and masks, replicating the garb of the biblical imperial Roman soldiers as interpreted by locals. The correct answer is C, Moriones Festival. Thank you. Now, after our last question, Prof. Sophie. Thank you. The first movie directed in 1919 by Jose Nepomuceno, called The Founder of Philippine Movies, was an adaptation of which sarsuela? A. Walang sugat B. Dalagang bukid C. Kahapon, ngayon at bukas D. Tanika lang ginto E. Anak ng katipunan Glenn A. Walang sugat Mali po Okay. Um, the correct answer is B, Dalagang Bukid. And it's the first Filipino film, no? And it starred Atang De La Rama, who later became national artist for music. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to ULAP, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 140 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Of course, thank you also to the other contestants. We have Glenn, Ran, and Jap. Palapakan natin sila. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Lou, and Professor Sophie. Maraming salamat mo. Once again, I am Jules Giang. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on K-Check. K -Check.